Prepare for arts and crafts! Anyway, so, this is what we're doing this time. Yeah. My thumb still hurts from the other one. <laughs> so, this is the one that we originally were going to do. It's the Tiny World pins. Uh, basically shrinky tanks, but with the pin backing. So, I've never actually cooked a shrinky dink. Me neither. I have, at least on the coloring part. But they give you the option to copy the ones that they have, or you can do whatever you want. So they give us the plastic, the pin, and the backing. Paint. I don't know why we need paint. For the white parts? No. No. I don't know what I'm doing, so I might not need that. And glue. Also, they give us a set of markers. But I also have my Sharpies, because, well, who doesn't love a good Sharpie? I only know one of the items that I'm going to be doing. Um, outside of that, I don't really know. They give us three sheets. Make it decent size, I assume, because they are going to shrink. How did you get the plastic off? What side is the plastic on? The like little thing. Uh, is it this no, one? it's in, you just have to, why would you pull from the middle? I don't know where it was. It's in the corners. It covers the thing. I'm tired, don't judge. So she's doing actually one of the ones that they recommend, which was the watermelon. I'm kind of, kind of want to try the pineapple or maybe the corgi. Let me try and, you know, find it. The corgi looks cute. Is it even supposed to be a corgi? This is what they give they us. They call it a tiny dog. I'm pretty sure it's a corgi with giant ears. I'm going to attempt to do the corgi. I'm going to attempt to trace, which is not my strong suit. They do give you a step-by-step -step on how to actually draw it, but... They also say that you can trace if you need to. Or I'm to. gonna, you know, at least try to trace it. Can't promise that my hand is gonna make this out to be a very cute thing. But, you know, I'm gonna try. He has some really big ears. I'm sorry, doggo. My cats are all offended that I'm not doing a cat. But, you know, if they saw what I'm doing to this dog, they'd be thankful I'm not doing a cat. Do you have any plans for your other ones? Not really. All right, well, at least I got, you know, the outline of Doggo. Here is my outline. <laughs> He's a little derpy. He's definitely a little special, but I love him. So. <laughs> oh, goodness. Doggo. I need you to be a good doggo. Not that I suspect that you'd be a bad doggo. No doggo is bad doggo. That's very debatable. It's just based on bad parents. I'm sorry for anyone that actually, you know, straight up hates the sound of squeaking. Yeah, it's too late, they probably won't even hear it. Being said, how hard are you pressing? Because there's no squeaking coming from mine. Maybe I'm just doing it on the wrong side. You might be pressing too hard. You don't have to press that hard. Which I'm surprised about, because these seem like almost like 
Crayolas, um, uh, quality markers, mm -hmm. but they seem to be going and staying on the plastic pretty nicely, which I didn't expect. I expected it to smear quite easily, which I mean, I haven't touched it to try and find out, but, you know. Well, Doggo is done outside of the white part. Which I guess I'm going to end up doing in paint. Bit odd that, but I don't make the rules. Well, they also don't make white markers. Oh yeah, that smells. Don't smell it. I smelled it too late. It I already got so it bad. on me. Go, go. Eh. I'm sorry, bud. Can I have... I need one too. Tiffany is like, grab a paintbrush. How many? How many you want? I just need a little one. Mm -hmm. no, I need smaller than that. I need literally like this one. I know the bag is nasty. Don't judge. It's also super old. Mom's gonna be like, what are you two doing? Eh, you know, just painting a corgi and a watermelon. I don't think I've ever actually seen a corgi in real life. Me neither. Oh, my corgi has gone down the drain. I'm so sorry, bud. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to use the paint anymore. Yeah, no, he just looks like he rolled around in snow or powdered sugar. Uh, Doggo has seen better days, guys. Doggo has seen better days. Um... I'm gonna put Doggo off to the this side. This is my watermelon. Now, they put a face on theirs. I'm not about that cheesiness, so I just have a watermelon. I have a deformed corgi. Now, I want to see what it says about cutting because I think you're supposed to leave a certain amount around it. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to cut these, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you're not gonna shrink the whole thing. I mean, I could. Oh, they give you four sheets, but they only give you three pin things. Unless they have one of yours? No? I guess they give you four sheets. They're not doing the white one anymore. Um, Apparently you don't have to leave an outline, so... So you can just shrink the whole entire thing? Just No, you still cut out the picture, but... Okay, well, I'm going... To draw Heartman, which was kind of recommended, but also not at the same time. So Heartman, I created as a small child, and he's pretty much just well this. This is Heartman. I'm gonna color him and, you know, pray that I don't mess up my own creation. Honestly, I'm expecting myself to destroy my own creation. Honestly, he's probably gonna be the only one that turns out good. <laughs> I am only gonna do one more because, like I said, there's only three backings. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. <laughs> Although I got out my Sharpies and then I'm like, yeah, you know what, I don't think I'm going to actually use them. Maybe I should have done the eyes last.
These markers are actually pretty I just messed mine up because I tried to do something and it turned out bad. Oh no. So what are you going to do? I'm going to do something else. Hmm. I'm going to look at that picture of that dog. We are using the toast oven method. I should have said at the beginning of this. Uh, it's still late and I don't don't know what happened. I tried to do something and then it turned out bad. Um, I don't know if they saw that, but eh. no, don't show it. Well, then I'll show them my heart. It's also a good reason for me to check my battery. One last one. And I don't know if I can top heart man. You can have my extra sheet if you need a spare. I don't think I've used my green. You know what? I'm gonna make a flower. That way I can use a little bit of green. <laughs> okay. Here's my flower. Kind of derpy. I mean, it is this generic flower that all small children make even though I'm not a small child I'm the furthest thing from a child but you know what I'm making it work I think this yellow hates me I also did it wrong <laughs> How does one mess up the easiest flower? Who knows, man. Apparently, they just have to be me. This is going to end up being orange. Oh no, the red is overpowering it. Never mind. You did look into how long they need to go in for, do you remember? One to three minutes and then once it shrinks, 30 more seconds after that. That's interesting. Mm. What's well, interesting? Would you care to share? Didn't like the Sharpie. So basically, it's markers or nothing. No, I just didn't like the fine tip sharpie. Oh, well, nothing likes the fine tip sharpies. back in place. So that's fun for me. Hmm. Are you going to wear these pins with pride? Probably not. Why? I don't wear pins. I so why would I make an exception for these? I don't wear pins, but I do like collecting pins. Clearly, I have quite a few Disney ones. And because I actually kind of want to stick to the theme of the book, I gave it a smiley face. I do have to now try and cut them 
without, you know, making a complete disaster of it. I can't cut in a straight line as is. I'm going to brutally murder these, I fear. Let's start with the corgi because, honestly, I don't think it has much of a will to live as is. You laugh, but you know it's true. She's going through some stuff, okay? Sorry, bud. I actually tried, which is the sad part. No, no, no. What did you do? Nothing. It's fine. We're good. I'm just cutting a small circle around it. I'm not even going to try and bother doing the ins and outs of them. Pretty sure I just saw plastic go flying. So, you know, that's just my luck. Trying not to cause a mess so, you know, my mom doesn't murder me. Corgi. And a piece of plastic just goes flying 90 miles an hour. Heart man, you're up next, bud. Recap. What happened? It wasn't working. So what are you doing? I'm doing something else. Okay. Well, do you still need this on? Nope. Oh, okay. Do, do you still want the camera on? Or do you just want to enjoy this? Enjoy this. I can turn it off and bring it back when we're done. Just tell me what I want to do. I don't know. The best thing you can Okay, we'll be back. Here is a quick look at all of them on the tray. And now they get to go in and we'll go from there. Do you have any I don't think so. The magic is happening slowly but surely. I don't think you can quite tell, but they are starting to shrink. They don't have much time left, so I'm kind of glad they are shrinking, slowly but surely. Okay, it does reek, but they are I mean, pretty much done. that bad. It smells better than those inflatables we got for the picnic last year. True. They are almost done, and they are very flat. So I think it might be time to pull them out. I did put it on for a little bit longer than the time said. So I'm gonna... We're gonna have to move, dear. Okay. Because I need to get in and open this bad boy and show them off. How do you think they look? Fine, except for the fact that you put them over the Bulge. Well, I placed them as well as I could and then they shrunk. Hmm. So, here they are. They're finally out. Um, don't know if they're safe. I also don't know how we get them out. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Tiffany is doing some mild touch-ups to hers. She made Minnie the Pooh and she made a watermelon. But since you're supposed to do three, I made her one. Home, love, family. An Anastasia reference. Uh, <laughs> Corgi died even more than before. But Heartman and my flower actually turned out pretty decent. So, while she's doing her touch-ups, I'm gonna open up my pin parts. We have our glue. So I'm assuming we just glue the backs onto the back of these. Mm. I'm gonna double check because Lord knows I am going to be stupid. If you're wondering what that was, that was my toaster oven. Oh yeah, you're supposed to use paint after. Oops. 
Is it paint or is it like a like a gloss? I don't know. Uh, once you're happy with the flatness, let it cool for 15 minutes. I mean, it's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. Paint the back. Uh, yes. Paint the back and attach the pen. We need our paint brushes back. So we let the paint dry. We attach the pin backing and we go from there then it'll be done so I need to go and get the paint brushes again unless you really want to try and use it like that I'll be back guys the paint brushes are back so paint the back Add glue after it's dry. I don't know how fast it dries though. Do you remember? It dries decently quick. As quick as terracotta pots or? No. Because those dry really fast. <laughs> My poor Corgi. Never stood a chance. I was gonna, you know, be nice and give it to Maria. I don't want to offend her. I also don't know how thick the coat needs to be. I have no idea. I feel like to get it like a really like, like nice coat like they have it, you need to do a couple of coats, but I'm not about that life. It's been a long day. A very long day for both of us, so. I'm getting this all over the table. Mom's gonna murder me. I'm putting on mine on the box. No, you know. I well, I was putting it on the box, and then it just decided to jump anyway. Mm. So you know, screw me, I guess. <laughs> My mother's just gonna kill both of us. My dad's gonna come home, and he'll be like, "What are you two doing?" Science. But you know, Dad, we try to do things that would maybe calm us down after a nice long day of crap. But um, you know. We are we, so that's not possible. She literally came home from said thing and I'm like, hey, you want to do a puzzle? Puzzle's very weird. So she's like, <laughs> no, I don't want my spirit broken. Hey, you want to do an art and craft? Sure. And Blister now this. on my thumb. And now this one. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I don't know how our will is going to handle the other two, which we deemed hard. We deemed these easy. I tried to not get it on the table, and yet it's just making sure that it gets on the frickin' table. Hmm. I feel like somebody needs a hug. I need more than that. I want tater tots, but we don't have tater tots. I should have dad ate them. I hate your dad. <laughs> okay, so... That's done. You gotta let them dry. And then we add the backing. <laughs> I'm now a pillow. That's what I've learned. I'll bring you back. And a spell. We're back. It's dry enough, famous last words. I think you also coated yours a lot less than I did mine. I also don't think I have mine prepped. Is it mine prepped? I don't know. It also doesn't say how long you need to hold the pen for. No, you probably just need to put it in and then let it set. Mm. Do we want to end it here, or do we want to show them off one last time? Ooh. We'll end this clip here, and we'll be back, and maybe I can convince this one to actually put one of hers on. It's gonna be a fight. So, we've come to the end of our little pin trail. I'm wearing my heart, man. Uh, Corgi has definitely seen better days. Um, not gonna give it to Maria. 
Um, don't know what I'm going to do with Corgi. But the heart and the flower turned out pretty good. I'm going to probably end up keeping both, which is saying something because I didn't think I'd end up keeping any of these. I will say that I definitely put this on too early because my pin back just came off. Um, that's not that bad. I'll, yeah, it will dry off camera. And I would show you Tiffany with her pin. She didn't choose to do a pin. And instead, what are you trying to do, friend? Well, we're slightly convinced that this is the same stuff that used to be used for those plastic bubbles. So I'm trying to blow bubbles with it. I got one bubble, but it popped. So... Uh, that's what she's doing with the rest of her life and this weird glue. Hey, after today, let me have this. It stinks to high heavens and yet it said that it was only a hint of scent. I think someone's lying. Either way, that's the end of this video and we'll see you guys next time with another Arts and Crafts. Bye!